Tonight, a second lawsuit filed against the driver of a concrete truck that veered into traffic, causing a Hayes County school bus to crash, killing two. This suit from six of the families of the children on that bus, seeking more than a million dollars in damages from FJM Concrete and its driver that day, Jerry Hernandez. That's the second lawsuit after the fatal crash that garnered national attention just three weeks ago today. Our kiddo was another one of the students, and they unfortunately witnessed and experienced things that parents, us as parents, try to protect our kids from ever having to witness. Police records say Hernandez admitted to using marijuana the night before and cocaine the morning of that crash and to driving the truck on little sleep. CBS Austin found he had criminal charges stretching back nearly two decades, including a charge of driving with a suspended license in 2006 and charges of abuse just last year. First and foremost, they're performing a safety sensitive function. And if they don't feel that they can perform that function for fatigue or any other reason, they're not supposed to do it. Hernandez faces criminal charges for negligent homicide over the deaths of five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace. Last week, one of the teachers on the bus, too, filed a lawsuit against Hernandez and his employer, FJM Concrete. Now, another child on the bus has joined that lawsuit, too. But neither suit mentions the fact that the bus did not have any seatbelts. The seatbelts issue, is that something at all that you're going to be looking into with your client? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, we are um, have not ruled out liability of other parties. And now we're learning that Hayes CISD plans to discuss at their board meeting on Monday, accelerating the replacement of several buses that don't have seatbelts, including the one in the accident that day. Some parents say they'll be in attendance to express concerns with the safety of those buses. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.